Are you too washed up? Have you wondered where time is gained? Are you too hell up? Do you wish you had something more to give? Where did the dreams go? When you're left with no one left to hold Are you too dried up? If you're picking at the hole left in your soul Does What is up, my people? Is obscured by today Just getting myself Does set up here You'll notice my audio is a little bit different today. I'm testing some different some stuff. Finally getting live out on an, a number of services. And I know for the last couple of videos, there was an issue where I had a noise gate on my microphone that was causing all sorts of chaos for some reason, which really sucks for me. Not sure why that was happening. So you'll hear a little bit more mouse and keyboard noises until I can get that resolved, until it's a little bit less aggressive than it's been at this point. But I wanted to give an update on the song of a week I'm working on right now. This probably won't be as long of a video as some of the other ones, but I do want to start. All right, so I was listening to my mic. Now I have to stop listening to my mic because it drives me nuts because I can hear myself and I don't want to hear myself. I don't want to hear myself talking. And so one thing I wanted to show today is I've had um, a friend of mine asked, and I'm going to share this on my channel real quick. So a friend of mine asked if I could show the process that I was using with the plugin. Um, to get my DAW audio out into what I'm doing. So I was gonna show that. And then what I really wanted to show off today was the fact that I have turned my microwave into a synthesizer and we're getting closer <laughs> to the to having a more produced sound that I've already started to doing, start doing some like preliminary mixing and stuff like that on it, which I can do, but um, I wanna show off what I'm doing first. So let me pull up my DAW over here, which I use Reaper, as you can see. I need to get a plugin that lets me zoom in on the screen or something right there oh and as always if you like what you're seeing especially for those of you seeing me for the first time like subscribe check out the silence noise on facebook or wherever fine, finer uh music is found spotify google play youtube itunes blah 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 and we'll see depending on where this one gets up there so first and foremost over here on my master bus there is a plugin that's called voxengo recorder so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pop that window up pops up my my window right here i'm going to pull up voxengo recorder so i'm going to put that up here whoops Oh, I need to search in all plugins. So let's get this guy going. So that pulls up this plugin window guy right here that we have, which it's asking you what device do you want to send to, how you want to do the output style things. So in here, you'll see all of your different hardware devices. And so I'm just using my default sound card for this, um, which is my Realtek. So I sent it to my Realtek optical. So you want to pick the card that's not the Osio card that you're using. So like I have a Focusrite card. You don't want to use that Focusrite card and what we're doing you want to use um you know the other sound card in your computer the built-in one that you've got right there so i set that up your output file um so it asks you right here what do you want to do your out file or your output do you want to send it to a file which is basically just recording it or do you want to stream it to mme so when you hit this button it switches to mme which just ports the sound over to your other sound card at that point so i'm streaming this to mme i'm streaming it to that realtek digital output and then i click start so now my sound from the daw is going to be streamed over into that part of the sound card so then what i have to do is i use wirecast for streaming um you're gonna it's gonna look kind of weird on my stream right now but you want to add, and you can do this in OBS or any of the other stuff, you want to add a new system audio capture, which I do over here. So I'm going to add this system audio capture, and I want to make sure that it's capturing from the same device. So you can select your audio device, and I picked that optical output. So when I do that, that should enable the sound of my DAW to come across in my stream. So just to test it out, let's play with our drum cat in here um hold on let me get this up and running so hold on or, oh that's because i selected the folder <laughs> let's see here and now you've got it coming through the dog
So for those of you who haven't been following this journey or this is new for you, the theme for Song Week this week is household objects um, or household instruments. I keep saying objects because I use objects. I use the microwave, I use the fridge. In a previous video, I talked about how I built the drum, the drum set out of what we we're doing. And I'm gonna make sure I have my chat comments up here for what I'm watching. So I built that out of you know various instruments and various household objects that I had all over the house for what I was doing. So um, in this particular case, there's a toaster, there is uh, the refrigerator door, there's the microwave door and all those things. And I recorded a number of sounds that I showed off in a previous video, but I'll just show them off again, just in case. So I did this in battery and native instruments. So I pull this up and let me show this a little bit larger on my screen, get my face out of the way. So you can see that there's microwave door and those two are linked together. There's the, the snare is microwave door and fridge closed. We got our coffee cup clang throw, our kind of open hat, which is curtains and AC, <laughs> then a higher curtains one, then our toaster is kind of like a closed high hat. So we got that there. And then there's a number of these other sounds, and some of them I've started using in other places in the song. song. So like the Keurig being opened and closed. So lots of goofy household noises. Oh, I have it running through compressor now because I started mixing it. So that I'm like, those don't sound like the normal noise. So, but last night what I did is there is a great a sampler that is available in Reaper that's called Resamplomatic. So in here, I'll kind of show a little bit about what I did. And what was fun about Resamplomatic is, is that, is that you can make an instrument out of any type of sample. So you notice I have got some compression and some reverb on that guy so that it sounds a bit louder, but this is made out of the microwave noise of the microwave running. So the buttons on the front of the microwave. So let's talk a little bit about that process because it's pretty funny. So you pull it in. So this is resample-matic that you've got here. So you just drag in the audio that you want to work with here. And so in this case, it was the microwave. And so when you play a key, that's really the, the default noise is probably here. So what's fun about it is, is it wasn't exactly um, where I needed it to be because I matched it up with the arpeggiated sequence that I have in the middle of this. And it was kind of creating a fun effect. And you'll see I added some, re um, some reverb and EQ on here because I wanted to cut out the low end since we're getting closer to a final mix of what we've got going over here. And so I wanted to have that closer to where we had it in the mix at this point. And so, oh, going ahead and looking at my comments. So, so we created this out of the microwave button. And so I can mess with this a little bit. So the default sound, um, I had to change the pitch a little bit and what I had right here because the pitch wasn't exactly on a note. It was just kind of a beep sound. So as I said, if I went 2.5 steps up, I believe this right here. So where we would have our, I think that's our original noise. So you got that. So fed through reverb and those types of things. So. Where that ends up is yesterday when I was playing this, and I know my audio wasn't great yesterday because that audio gate issue. So if you didn't hear it, first of all, let's listen to the drum beat that we got out of the household noises. So this is the drum beat. So we got that. So then I added, I took this, <laughs> this audio of the sync running that I have right here that's pretty strange. And so I, I kind of brought it in with just the sync running, tweaked it pretty substantially, and so you get this noise. So it's got a little auto pan going on in it, going back and forth kind of rhythmically. That's just my sync if you turn off the effects here. So that's the sync running. <laughs> so you got that, turn it back on. You get a cool little weird rever reverb effect that we've got going on there. And as I said, if you like what you're seeing or how weird this is, please leave comments, shares, likes, subscribe, all that good stuff. So we got that. So now let's combine it with the drum beat at the beginning. Let's on solo, get into the song a little bit.
So we got that as our beginning noise. So then it comes in our poster hi-hat that we've got right there. So our poster hi-hat is going. Oops. Sorry, I screwed up my wire cap a little bit. So we got that. Can you see? Did you see? Is the sunlight through the window? So we're previewing a little bit ahead because as you can hear, I've done some mixing on this. So now our vocals have some effects on it, which I'm going to talk about that in a future video. I don't have a ton of time to do that today, but let's talk about the microwave synth. So as of yesterday, I, I've added it in two parts. So yesterday, let's mute this out for right now. So this is how it sounded when I played the track yesterday. In your eyes, away, away, away. So I like that sound. I really dig this little saw synth sound that I have going on here, which is this. But it's, it's like a buzzier sound, and I wanted something to accompany it, which is where our, mic, our microwave synthesizer came in that works out so well. So you got your, whoops. So let me, I probably still have my synth muted here, or I'm selecting multiple tracks. So we took that same MIDI part that we've got there, and we layered it over, which creates a more uh, interesting effect. So then that leads us to putting that in the track. Away, 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 away. Morning's come. So we got away. So in that same one. So then during the, the chorus that we had yesterday as well, I was having some fun with that. So our chorus without the microwave in it sounded like I am still away. I'm going to mute our vocals right now since I've mixed those pretty substantially and you can hear them a lot more than you did when I was playing with this mix yesterday. And so I want to make sure that they're not too loud in the mix. So let's listen to the instrumental that you heard yesterday before I started bringing in vocals. So nice synth pad. This arpeggiated piece that I had right here that came out of FM8, I really like. Lots of busy action that's going on there. But again, I liked the microwave synth so much that I felt like it would be a great addition to add some high to that. So it's not doing the arpeggiated sequence, but what I played when I was working on this on the keyboard came out that way. So you got a higher kind of twinkly effect that's going on when you bring in the microwave. It's even a little percussive, which is what's kind of fun about it, because you got the boop, 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 because there was no way to avoid the percussive sound that you had coming out of the synth when you started. So, because when you press the button, that is a percussive noise that you're getting out of the microwave. So, yeah, so it's got a little bit of a percussive quality to it. Add that in the rest of the mix without vocals. So wouldn't you know, as you're hearing that, it's starting to sound a little bit like a song. So, and it's it was close to it yesterday. So let's jump to our break where I bring the sync back. And again, doing this without vocals because there's lots of vocal effects that are going on that I want to talk about when I talk about mixing this a little bit. So let's talk about our vocal effects over here. So we have that sync going on in the background, which is, it's barely audible. You can't hear it that much. You highlight it, but it kind of adds a interesting effect in your headphones when you're listening to it. So. 
process to do that was I recorded the sample right off my cell phone for what I was doing. So it is a cell phone sample, no particular, you know, nothing particular that's going on in that sample with what we're doing there. Um, and then recorded it, edited it down, which you don't even have to do that. Then used in Reaper, I used the Resample-Matic, which again gave me, if I extend this tone out, which I actually don't wanna do that in this one. So let's just do it in a new track real quick so I can show the process. So we add Resample-Matic. Oops, there it is. We grab our sound, which I, ha let me pull up my folder real quick. So that's gonna pull up a bunch of different stuff in my folder. So let me find um, my projects over here one moment while I pull up that sound. I've given the song a name, which I'm not going to announce the name yet. But if you're crafty, you'll see it. But I'm going to drag in. So I've got my microwave running sounds. So you just drag that sound in here. So you'll see that when I've got this set by default over here, and I have this pick to record, which I'm going to do right now. I just want to make sure I don't have anything else armed. I don't. You basically just get this. Let me make sure I don't have anything else armed. I don't. Okay, so, oh, I need to put in MIDI here. So I need to make it work so that. So that's your original sound. All right, so then we cut that sound down a lot. So we get way in on it, drag it way over so I can zoom in on it. And I took out even some of the click here. We get this down to this. Now you'll notice in there, it's only set to uh, one note across all the tones. And so we want to make it so that this mode is shifted to semitone shifted so that it behaves like a piano. Um, so that way it's And then since that's not really a C, we needed to change it a little bit. So we take it down, and again, I did this kind of by ear, but um, we realize it's about 2.5 semitones down. <laughs> so there you have it, microwave synth. And then what I added on there for some effects is some reverb. Um, it's kind of a, a loopy reverb that's on there to make it sound the way that it sounds right now. And that gives us the sound that we've got in there. Very simple way to use samples and to play with these household noises. And so when I come back on the stream in the next day or so, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the mix. I'm going to announce the name of this song. We'll talk a little bit more about the vocals and what I'm doing with this right now. And uh, we will go from there. But until then, I will play you out. And again, like, follow, share this. Share Silence Noise Music, please, with friends or anyone that likes goofy rock electronic you know, anything in that space, thesilencenoise.com, the silence noise, wherever great music is purveyed. And here you go, YouTube, the silence noise, Facebook, the silence noise. It's everywhere. That's where you find the music. But we'll play you out a little bit before I get too deep into the vocals. We'll jump into our chorus to play you out. Have a great day.